So one of the stories that I think is most interesting is the bird, the mouse, and the sausage. So they're all buddies and they keep house together and etc. It's the bird's responsibility to fly out every morning and gather the wood. It's the mouse's responsibility to lay the table. It's the sausage's responsibility to cook. Right. So, so the bird goes out to go get the wood and while it's out it meets another bird and they're, you know, chatting it up. The other bird's just like, hey, look, you're just their bitch. Change up jobs. That's ridiculous because all the mouse has to do is lay the table and then gets to lay down and nap and do fun mouse things and the bird goes on and it's like all the sausage has to do is stand next to that pan it doesn't have to come out and get the wood so you should you know you should man up and go talk to your fellow housemates because this is outrageous the bird's like yeah that's what we're gonna do Pow. goes back and he decides that they're going to um draw straws so they do pick straws, and the bird gets the position of laying the table, the mouse is going to cook, and the sausage is going to go out and fetch the wood. Sausage runs out to fetch the wood, and it doesn't come back for like, ever, so the bird and the mouse go looking for the sausage. Unsurprisingly, it got eaten. They're sad, but um... They decide they want to, they're going to stay together and still be friends. The mouse has already started the dinner and he decides to do what the sausage usually did, which the sausage usually um, went into the pot and, you know, rolled around to season the vegetables with with his body. Ew. Um, so the, the mouse goes into the pot to try to season the vegetables. So he dies, obviously. And the bird is fretting over the fact that he comes back and can't find the mouse because he's freaking out. He's throwing the wood that he gathered all over the place and it catches on fire and he goes to get water to put it out. Somehow he falls in the well and dies. The end.